So a lot of you guys have been asking me how exactly we design mobile apps and while we do not have a separate design phase as we like diving directly into Lovable or Cursor but sometimes the client pay us extra in order to see high fidelity wireframes up front so that is when we follow this exact workflow in order to generate designs of the entire mobile application for them to review before we dive into development. So we don't use Figma as you guys know but in this video I am going to show you how exactly I use UX Pilot in order to achieve this. So the first thing that we have to do is it comes to the project brief you have to know more than the client what they exactly want to get built so that is what I am going to do here. I am building Moodflow an AI driven mood tracker and journal that helps me log my daily feelings and reflections. It uses GPT to analyze my entries, providing weekly and monthly insights so I can spot trends, discover patterns and better understand my emotional well-being. I'll also see an interactive mood calendar that tracks my daily mood over time, making it easy to visualize my progress and growth. Please give me a brief project statement for this and also list down all of the core features that I should be building for this mobile app. And talking about mobile apps, what we usually do at the agency is whenever someone wants to build a mobile app, what we recommend doing is, is getting started with PWA because building PWAs is much cheaper and it is also much easier to deploy them. There are a lot of things that you have to keep in mind when deploying to Play Store and App Store and that is why we recommend proceeding with PWA. And once the idea has been validated, you can just build out a mobile app using React Native Expo with Superbase or whatever text tag that works for you. Okay, so getting back to the project statement, this is the project statement that it created for me. It looks good. Core features. You can just go through all of these core features and prioritize. Usually for prioritizing, use the Moscow framework. And then after doing some market research, we usually finalize the core features and we try to have it under four to five features. So looks good i mean the first response did pretty well okay now please give me the detailed user journey for this mvp and also prioritize this feature for mvp phase one using the moscow framework okay so once chat gpt is prioritizing the core features for you this is a table that you will get and you can just go through this do some market research and on the basis of that you can finalize the core features that you would like to move forward with I will be moving forward with the must have features that it has given me. So the next step would be asking chat GPT to create a UI development plan. So basically all of the screens that we will be requiring for this particular mobile application, I want chat GPT to explain to me in as detailed way as possible. So that is what I'm going to do. Usually Oven works the best for this. You can try other models as well, but I really like using this one. Okay. So on the basis of the must have features that you have prioritized i want you to draft a ui development plan so give me five to six screens that we can build for this mobile app i want you to give a detailed description of each and every screen and be detailed as possible also mention the ui components that we will be having in every screen now please draft this ui development plan for me so yeah, now ChatGPT will just proceed and give you the entire UI development plan. What I like to do after this is I just like taking these description into Lovable, but this time I am showing you how you can design a mobile app. So that is why we will get into UX Pilot. So let me take you there. So this is the interface of UX Pilot. Let me start a new design file. Let me name it Mood Flow. So using UX Pilot, you can generate wireframes as well as hi-fi designs. In this case, I am going to proceed with hi-fi designs. So yep. From here, you can select the type. We are going ahead with mobile app and context. This is the place where I will be posting my project brief. So if I go back to the conversation in the beginning, it provided me with this project brief, right? So I can just take it. I can paste it here. And also I like attaching an image of the mobile app that I want to refer to. It really helps UX pilot in generating good looking wireframes. So yup. Also, please refer to the attached image for color palette, theme and vibe. So yeah, I just attached a mobile app design that I found on Ribble and I'd like this mobile app to look like this as well. So yeah, once this is done, what you can do is now you can start adding screens to your flow. So let me get back to my UI development plan. And here on the UI development plan, you can see that chat GPT has done a great job in describing each and every screen that we will have. So you can just copy and start pasting each and every screen into this. Let me go ahead and do this for you. Uh, so yeah, I just went through the UI development plan and it had given me a total of six screens. So I just pasted each and every screen here in order to explain UX Pilot, the entire file app that we are building 
we also have this auto flow where you can just attach a single screen and on the basis of that it will generate all of the relevant screens but yeah i just pasted each and every screen from the ui development plan as it makes it better also i was thinking that maybe i can add the flow here which it has provided me so yeah this is the suggested navigation flow so let me just give it here once this is done i think we are good and i can click on generate let's see so it is now generated the screen so it is now generating the screens and as you can see it is already doing a pretty good job okay not bad you can set daily reminders good evening sara to log today's mood it is also already using generated images into inside this okay here is the mood logger and journal your emotional state this week see this is the ai generated summary for weekly insights and this so yeah pretty happy with the first draft i mean you can see this is the first draft and it already is so good what you can do next is you can just say click on save and retrieve, retrieve figma and you can take this design into figma and there you can refine it further we usually do this but for now in order to save time let's not go that way also another thing that i really love is i can update the font directly here so for example i really love popins when it comes to these kind of apps so let me show you and see in just one click it updated the entire font so yeah after playing around with it after refining it you can you can show these designs to your clients and then you can refine it further now the next step would be going to lovable so you can just go to lovable and here again you can paste the project brief and this time i'll ask it to build the let's say the login page looks good please build the login screen on the basis of the below what you can do is you can click on view source code and you can copy it from here and you can paste it here if you want you can also attach the screenshot let me okay so let me just take picture of this in order to save some time and let's go so yeah now lovable will take that code and convert it into a web application and you can do the same thing for all of the ui screens you can go through them one by one add them into lovable and you can complete the entire flow by adding the backend by connecting with superbase and you can have a working web app at by the end of this and by just adding the pwa manifest file you can have the pwa ready let me show you how it works out and yep. so there was some error on lovable side but it got fixed finally and as you can see it did a pretty good job so you can just replicate this for each and every screen and at the end you will have the entire working pwa inside lovable then you can sync it into codes on top of it refine it and at the end you can just add a pwa manifest file and get the pwa ready and once this idea has been validated you can go ahead and build a mobile app and launch so pretty much it that is what i wanted to show you guys in today's video thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and i'll try to reply to as many of you as possible thank you